Hey guys, welcome to Motorrides. My name is Amit, and this is the TVS IQ electric scooter. We are at TVS's Hoser facility, and uh, a lot of you have shown interest in the features that are available with this five-inch TFT color screen. And I'm going to let you know all about this TFT screen now. Uh, there are a few features that you need to understand before you get to the cell phone part, which is very, very comprehensive. So the few things that you need to know is uh, how to uh, get this vehicle started. So right now it's in idle mode. So essentially, if you turn the vehicle on through the ignition you'll get this welcome screen and the vehicle will go in idle mode you'll also get this chime and then to turn the ignition on where any input to the throttle or the uh, right wrist input would have any effect on the wheel you'll have to press the rear brake and then you have to press the mode button right here and then you'll get this screen which means that now the scooter is ready to go and then as you can see if I use the throttle it's going to show me some speed here here you have uh, the SOC which is uh, the state of charge this part of the screen is for uh, the connected app and this is the speedo you have the range here you have the odo trip and average speed now the trip is uh, changed or toggled through only through the phone app and you cannot do it physically on the screen itself and uh, now the other thing that you need to know about is that you can change the mode just by pressing the mode button and you can toggle between eco and power mode like this so in eco mode your range and uh, top speed is reduced but in power mode you have more uh, uh, red, less of range and more of top speed better acceleration and uh, this vehicle also comes with park assist so you have to press the brake and press the park button here and then you can get into the parking mode where the vehicle can move forward up to the speed of 12 kilometers per hour and backwards up to a speed of three kilometers per hour and if you put it in reverse mode it will also have this chime so that you know that the vehicle is reversing so all of this is something that you can do without even a cell phone and now i'm going to let you know by the way if you want to get out of this you have to press the brake and press the park button and you'll be out of this mode again so now what we're going to do is we are going to put it in this mode and we'll see what all features we have and this right here is uh, the TVS IQ app and uh, right now it's showing me everything it's showing me the battery charge status it's got 74 percent battery and uh, it's running at zero kilometers per hour speed the ignition is on and it's also showing me the current location this is the live tracking screen and uh, the maps that are being used here are here maps these are not Google Maps or Mapa India maps these are here maps now if I go to the home screen it lets me do a lot of things uh, so let's start off with live tracking and on the live tracking screen it's showing me where the vehicle is right now so it's right here and the ignition is off the speed is 0 kilometers per hour and the battery is 74 percent charge let's go back and in charging stations I can see the charging stations which are available in any area and I can also choose any charging station and it will show me how many charging slots are available in that charging station. So if there's a charging station at a dealership, if suppose there are five charging slots, if someone is using two of them, it will show me uh, that there are three uh, available slots. So right now at Bharat TVS, it's showing me that there are two available charging slots. And right now in Bangalore, TVS has 10 charging stations and every charging station has uh, quite a few uh, charging slots. Now let's look at settings and you can choose from auto reply SMS or do not disturb and you can also get an over speed alert so if the vehicle goes beyond a specific speed limit then you will get an alert. Then you also have geofencing so if you have lent your vehicle to someone and he rides the scooter out of the permitted uh, location or the radius you will get an alert and this radius can either be circular or you can uh, make a quadrilateral it can be a polygon. Uh, you can define the boundaries of the geofence that you want to allow uh, him to ride within. So let's add a geofence. We are adding a geofence here. And for that either you can have a circle like this. And the radius can be up to 20 kilometers. Or you can have it customized. So for a custom. So you just have to long press. And you will be able to define the boundary and in this manner you can essentially define which area you want your vehicle to wander within if the vehicle goes out of this uh, fencing area you will get an alert now apart from all of this uh, you will get a lot of uh, data on the rides that you have done so each one of your trips 
gets logged and uh, there is a 2G SIM here which keeps sending data to the server and it's fetched and all the data is there for you to have a look at. So for example, uh, this ride was uh, about 15.7 uh, kilometers, the top speed was 75 kilometers per hour. It also sh shows you a map, the average speed, total duration, start time, end time. So you have a lot of data about your rides. Then apart from that, uh, your bike statistics are also available. So these are the bike statistics. Now you might be wondering how the top speed is 95 km per hour when the top speed is 78 km per hour. Well, uh, it's uh, a speed which has been achieved when the vehicle was on the main stand. So it's a no load speed. So don't bother about it. So it also shows you the amount of CO2 that you have saved, total distance that's been covered, distance to empty and uh, a lot of uh, other data. You get the total duration, best 0 to 30 time, connected rides and all of that. So it also shows you how much time you use the vehicle uh, in eco mode, how much time you use it in power mode. So there are a lot of uh, bike statistics there. Apart from all of this, you can actually connect this phone to this instrument console where you can accept or reject calls. You can see your messages. You can also get turn by turn navigation. So let's uh, have this connected. So now this uh, phone is connected with this specific bike and uh, if I get a call on this phone, I'll get a notification here. Although you cannot accept or reject calls using these buttons here, but you would obviously know that you're getting a call, you can stop and take that call. So let's see how that happens. So see, as you can see here, uh, this phone is getting a call from someone here. And uh, obviously you cannot accept this call here while riding, you'll have to stop and you can decide whether you want to take this call or not. And if you want to, you can stop the bike and you can take that call. Similarly, if you get a message, you'll get a notification here. So we just received a message from the Panjan and uh, that notification has been displayed here. Apart from this, if you are navigating to some place, you'll get turn by turn navigation here where uh, you'll get the indications for turns and uh, you'll get to know after how much time or distance you'll have to take a left or right turn. And let's just see how that is also done. So once you have connected uh, your phone and uh, you have fed in a destination, the display will change somewhat and will give way for the turn button navigation arrow and this is how it will look like and then you can follow the arrow and uh, uh, get to your destination apart from all these things the most important thing that you need to know is that uh, the features which are related to telematics are available only to the primary user the person who is the owner of the vehicle and you have to register your uh, phone number and you have to authenticate it so for that for doing that you have to download the tvs iq app and uh, you have to make sure that you enter your phone number, you enter your WIN number and then it's authenticated by the TVS people and then the phone becomes, that specific number becomes the primary user of this uh, vehicle and uh, you'd be able to use all the telematics uh, that I showed to you before but if you want to use this instrument console only for message alerts, for incoming phone alerts and for navigation you can use it as a guest as well. So that's how you use uh, this uh, instrument console on the TVS uh, iCube and it's pretty comprehensive, it's uh, pretty well sorted, the iconography is very good, it looks very nice, the legibility is very good, you get day and night mode so essentially you have a sensor here and uh, as soon as it turns dark the instrument calls console also turns into the dark mode this is night mode so it's a very comprehensive setup and uh, it's one of the best instrument consoles anywhere on any scooters and we really appreciate the kind of effort that TVS have made to make this happen I really hope that this video was of some use to you if you like this video hit the like button subscribe to Motoroids and uh, press that bell icon so that you don't miss any of our updates and we are on Facebook and Instagram as well so follow us there as well Thanks a lot for watching. This is Amit Changani signing off. Rev hard, rev free and ride safe.